Bonjour Paris! Today, it's a uh, croque monsieur, super easy. Uh, it's like uh, French grilled cheese. So I'm quite sure you're common to do a lot of grilled cheese in your life. So basically, we're just gonna uh, put this grilled cheese on steroid. After the magical part of this is you can turn a croque monsieur into a croque madame. Super easy. You just had a nice sunny side up fried egg. Classic bechamel, it's 50 gram butter. Not too hot, I don't want to color the butter. Onions, 25 grams. You could do an onion piqué, remember this? Just half an onion with a clove in there. 35 grams flour. Very important that you cook this a little bit, okay? No color, but cook it. This is cold this time. So when the milk is cold, dump it all at once, whisk it in. Pinch of salt, and of course nutmeg. If you never tried fresh nutmeg, you have to. Six. We're gonna add Dijon mustard, eight to 10 grams, a teaspoon in the bechamel. So you want it to be nappy the spoon, see? Lid on, and we put in a back burner. We let that come to room temperature. Uh, pomme de terre russet, russet potato, so, half and half, water and vinegar. The vinegar is going to make it, it's going to give it a tanginess and it keeps it as white as possible in the fryer. If you want to get fancy, you can use apple cider. Could be an experiment to try. Today we're going to use a mandolin. It has to be not too thick, not too thin. And then be very careful. This, if you get your finger into this, it's unforgiven and always flat. You want a little water between each little layers. And then we're gonna let that sit for a couple hours minimum. And like I said, you can do that overnight. Use a clean kitchen towel, take them out of that water and make them as dry as possible. Don't have to be super dry. If there's too much water, the water's gonna make the fryer oil explode. Pat them dry. We'll put one third of this in there. Put the basket down first, then you just dump it inside. And it's okay if they're like this, you're gonna go in your chopstick after to separate them. Yeah, we'll do one third of that tray. So temperature for this, guys, it's at 375. It will take about two to three minutes. Four tops, depending on how cold it is outside. <laughs> hey, look how nice this is. This is perfect chip. So we're using uh, sea salt. You have to have style when you do it too, just like uh, Salt Bay, right? And then the fantastic part about this is you can season it with whatever flavor you want. Today we're gonna do Joe Beef barbecue seasoning. You can get that at uh, Muli's in Edmonton, Alberta. Mmm. Perfect. Main event. You can buy regular Pullman loaf, brioche loaf, any kind of bread you like. I prefer a crusted loaf. Let's go right in the middle. We'll make one big sandwich, but we're gonna cut it in half and that's gonna be two portion. Fancy toaster. Let's see if I remember this. Dark, yes. Toast, we'll see. Whoa! Santa brought that to us this year. Let's see, look at that. It's f***ing perfect. <laughs> Let's talk about the ham first. You can use any kind of ham you like. In a perfect world, I would have used uh, Paris ham, but I couldn't get my hands on that. So black forest ham or honey ham. So if you look at this, when you buy ham, it has to look like ham. Like, you want a lot of ham, you're gonna taste the ham. Cheese, I'm just using, uh, you should use Ematal, but we have Swiss here. So, Dijon mustard. Again, if you're not a fan of uh, spiciness, don't put any. Some people don't, I like. And again, it's part of being the classical dish. Keep in mind, this is two portion. We're gonna build it, cut it in half, and then finish it. See how nice this is now? 
And remember, this sauce is uh, the base of a Mornay sauce. Then you add cheese to this. <laughs> Uh, mac and cheese, you name it. So two big tablespoons. Make sure you cover all the way to the edge. Huh? Cheese. Nice, generous portion of emmental or Swiss cheese. Ham. I like to fold it. And I like a lot in mine. I know it's going to sound absurd, but... And then, cheese. Same technique, just eyeball. And then again, two more tablespoons, three. Closing the lid, cut in half. So one portion, two portion. See, it's huge. Guess what? More bechamel. <laughs> yes, now you go nuts. Cover everything. And the best part of all this, guys, is when this goes in the oven with the cheese, everything leaks out like this, and then it goes on a tray, and then everything that's on the tray gets all nice and crispy and brown. <laughs> and then cheese. 15 grams. <gasps> yes. Uh, let's do five minutes in the oven. You know what? Let's gamble. Straight in the broiler. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Almost there. See these bits? This is the best. Those are the chef bits. So we'll put it in the oven now. My oven is high tech, remember. So just in the oven for five, four minutes. Ooh, the oven's working, that's for sure. That's it, it's 425. <laughs> now we're taking these babies out. Look at this. This one's nice. Uh, pro tip, let it rest. This is piping hot. And if you bite into this now, it's terrible. So this gives you enough time just right now to make, to turn this into a croque madame. Grab a fresh egg, medium heat, a knob of butter, and don't break the yolk. If you break the yolk, well, you're fired. Salt, always, pepper. Piment d'Espelette. It's got some kick to it, so just a little bit. That's so pretty. You grab your nicest one in the front. And then you grab your chippers. And then the egg. Woo! Look at this. You don't want to have a well done egg yolk, okay? Unless that's what you like. Well, I gotta eat this. <laughs> All right, so today, croque monsieur on our agenda. All right, I sure hope you try this at home. Croque monsieur, with an addition of the egg, you turn this into a croque madame. Sorry, croque monsieur. Oh yeah, man. Look at that. <gasps> Can I fit this in my mouth? <laughs> Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Let me take a real reasonable bite this time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Toast in it. it, makes a little crispy bits on the side, and then you get into the middle. Everything is all soft and uh, weirdly enough, fluffy. I think it's the sauce and the cheese that makes this. Mm.